Hi guys, this video is a little bit about the transparency layers of the GIMP program. This is very useful if you have like two images or one regular image and one like icon or something like that and you want to mix them or overlay. Like here I have this thing from Pixabay which is a royalty free image. So I copy this to the game program. I use the right click, co uh, use copy image, go to file, create from clipboard. Usually it works. Okay, so I have it on the right side. We go to the, um, to the other picture which we need. This is the one with the button. We also do a copy file create from clipboard as well. So we have finally both of these images. Now we want the button on top of the hammer. So go, we go to here, press Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go to the right window, Ctrl V. What we have, actually we have covered the whole hammer. This is what we don't want. Okay, we go back, Ctrl Z and we go to the left side and we put a transparent layer on it so this is the add alpha channel um, yeah sometimes it's already activated don't, I, I can't tell you why maybe it depends on the original image but we already have it here but it doesn't work with the copy so what we need is now we have to remove the background so this for this reason we need the tools selection tools and we can use any of these so we can also use a rectangle if we have, have a really simple program we mark it control X and then the background is gone. Okay, this is not what we want. We use here a little bit uh, something more advanced. We use the fuzzy select. Um, I think this should work pretty well. We have also this toolbox here and here we have also some info information about the fuzzy select let's put the threshold in the middle and see what happens we just left click here and you see some things which we actually like are also marked so that's not good we go back and yeah what what's also important we have this four modes so when we are when we have activated the replace mode so we can change just the threshold back and forth or a little bit up and down and always select so there will be a new selection so you don't have to discard the old selection it will be also new uh, always new selection you can here with the second one there's an add so if you have marked some parts of the background maybe you had two colors you need this so you want to mark one of the colors like here and then Control x to remove and then you have the second uh, color like here uh, mark it Control x again and so everything is gone here just in this case so uh, it seems uh, we have to use a little bit lower threshold. We can use the arrow or we can use the mouse to move the, the th thing from right, left to right. So we go really down because we have a really nice white background and that should be easily possible to remove. So we just click here and then you see what's that that's not good so it seems ah yeah we are still on the add mode so you see that app uh, effectively happened so we have to use the replace mode because i just want to do it in one click so now i did it you see so we still have a lot of this gray and maybe it's almost i mean it's almost white so we we, we try so we press Ctrl X, uh, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go to the right side, Ctrl V, you see uh, looks a little bit silly with this gray. I mean in front of the white it's good but here it's not good. So we remove it again, go to the left side and use a little bit higher threshold. We do it, uh, I mean um, yeah I have to 
back, go back to the white background so yeah you see with a higher uh, threshold the gray shade is a little bit smaller we uh, raise it even more so you see the gray goes away Oh wow, that sounds good. <laughs> Here now we are on 98. If we go too high, then you will see what happens. Then it marks also some other things, so that's not good. So I think 90 was not bad. So let's use this again. Yeah, a little bit higher. So, okay, that looks good for me. It's not perfect, but I think that looks good. So now use Ctrl X, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, go to the right side, Ctrl V, and here we are. So it has a little bit of white, but it's just the thing which from GIMP, uh, GIMP is using to show what is marked. So if we press, uh, or if we just I don't know uh, what we have to do now. Uh, hold on one second. Yeah, now I, I just clicked here. So, okay. It seems it really worked. Ah, not good. So, yeah. So, you can move it around, of course, wherever you want. You can uh, change the size. But, um, yeah. This is it for now. I think it's not too bad. Not much gray. I mean, I could make the threshold a little bit higher maybe and get rid of the final gray. So that's it. If you want the picture now as a JPEG, use the export as. Go down to the JPEG. Where do we have this JPEG? Uh, give a name here and save it. Uh, with the thing what you oh that's PNG sorry for that no ah it has just the, na the old name so yeah of course it's it's JPEG and we use the export yeah we have to tell him that it's JPEG very strange so, but now he is happy. So, so he comes up with the JPEG export options, which is more or less just the quality. Okay, you can use some advanced options as well. We don't use that. And if you don't want a JPEG, if you want some something with the where you get rid of the background too, you have to use the GMP. Let's say here we want to get rid of the background as well so we mark it again so ctrl x background is gone also at the right top corner again so it looks a little bit silly it's not perfect it's far from perfect but uh, it's just a sample to show you so now we have just image one image two no background then we go to export and use the p and g which is here and we give a name and say export and then it comes with the png export options and which where you can select different options and the compression level again and then click export and th then it will do it of course so yeah that's really easy and then you can use this the whole picture without the background in an external program that can help sometimes too, if you don't want to do the whole thing in the GIMP. So I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that because sometimes it's a little bit confusing and yeah if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time